gosh, oh my gosh. What? I saw it. Oh my god! It's Don't like, no, there's a bunch out there, no? Time for the beach. Ryan just got off a call, but he has another one later. But we're gonna take a little beach break. I just did emails and I feel good because I cleared up my inbox. So yeah, I'm glad. Control. What? That's small. This is the biggest size I've had. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I brought this many swimsuits for like what four or five days here. Call me extra. Okay, which one should I wear today? We won't be out there for like too long, so I don't want to wear like my cutest one. I'm also setting up shop in my dad's room. This is like where he usually stays, but they have like a nice like drawer thing. He's not here right now, but they like left on Monday, I think. Let's see which one I want to wear. Should I just wear black? Mm -hmm. Make it easy. Or the green one, actually. Just making it a mess. What's new? What's freaking new? I got this from Loft the campaign with them and it's so cute. This is what it looks like. It also comes with straps, but I want to see if I can be okay without the straps because then I won't have like a tan line. Packing up my beach bag, literally bringing like so much sunscreen. And of course you gotta have the chips, garden salsa, and then it is not a beach vacation if we don't have Pringles. Yesterday we went to Seaside and they literally had so many of these like little, um, what's it called? <laughs> I might blinky on the name. It's just like merch shops. And like they have the OG Seaside shop, but they have like a yacht club one now, which is crazy. Um, it's a little bit of a mess, but this is what the downstairs looks like on my dad's place. I love the kitchen. And the first time we came here is when they had just bought it. So there are a lot of things that are different. Like this fridge is like so cool to me. It's see-through. You guys see it? And then obviously you open it and then the light comes on. The sun is finally coming out a little bit. I'm actually kind of getting sweaty. It's not hot, but it's not cold. So it's like kind of just like warm. Which is really nice, and I'm like building up a sweat so I can go jump in the water. You would think this was hot before you moved to Texas, probably. Yeah, that's true. Okay, you see it. This is what my car feels like, basically. Oh god, your car feels way worse. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> it smells. His car, like, <laughs> takes forever to freaking cool down really. when you turn it on. You yes. Just drive a little bit. There you go. I look so much different than I did on the beach, but we are ready. I did my hair, I like blew it out with the round brush, and I feel like my makeup kind of is slaying today. My brows look so good. I haven't gotten them laminated in like a month, and usually I try to go before a vacation, but this was so last minute, but I'm kind of loving them. I mean, I just brushed them up and just filled them in like ever so slightly. It is pretty early, like we went to the beach and we were kind of like over it by 2.30, so we came up and I had a lot of time to get ready which was so nice because i feel like every beach vacation i never take great pics because i'm rushed and i just like to spend a lot of time at the beach and obviously not a lot of time getting ready and then i feel so lazy too it's just like ugh, going to put makeup on just to go to dinner you know not for the whole day but i'm kind of feeling good today so i really want to get some cute pics maybe of me and ryan but i think we're gonna try to go to the Rosemary Beach area and see if we can get in at any of those restaurants. It's kind of hard because, well, I don't even know if like a lot of them take reservations to be honest, like maybe they do. Um, I know at Pescado, which is like the rooftop one, they don't take reservations for their outdoor seating, which is like kind of why you go, you know, for that rooftop area vibe. It is really small, like that little 
area. We had brunch there. We went for dinner with my dad once. And I think all those times we walked in. Last night I wasn't vlogging. We went to Seaside. And first of all, Seaside is just like, well, I don't even know if it's like so different from what it used to be because I was literally a child back then. We grew up coming here to like the panhandle of Florida. Like we would usually go to Destin, then we would go to Seaside for one night. And I was in high school and obviously, you know, they would like have the beach parties. But like this time when I went, I was like, am I too old for this? Like literally there was just so many more kids than there were adults. And it was just like friend groups, like clicks just all over the place. And Ryan brought up a good point. He said it was probably because um, school just got out. And I was like, that's probably true. <laughs> and that makes sense because I feel like I've never really seen it like that many kids everywhere. Like kids meaning like high schoolers, middle schoolers, you know? But it's just so funny because like that was me back in the day. Here's tonight's outfit. It is this Astro Label dress and it's kind of too perfect because well, in my last vlog, you guys saw, we went to Nordstrom Rack and Ryan got a linen shirt and he was like, I don't know what I'm gonna wear this to, but it's $25 so might as well get it. And I bought this for like a brand deal because I'm working with them for the next two months, I think. I already did like one month with them. But I got this dress and I thought it would just be perfect to like throw on during the summer. But little did we know, we were gonna go to the beach. And I was like, that is just too perfect. It has cute little eyelet detailing all over the dress. And it's just really comfortable. This is so tall. <laughs> I literally have to climb up in here. Goodness. We're entering Rosemary Beach. Pray for us. It's so early, but we're really hoping we can get in somewhere. I don't think it was even 15 minutes, so the wait was really fast. I'm excited because I asked for a table outside too. We can have drinks here. Thank you. You're kidding. We didn't have a reservation. Look at this view. Look at this table we just got. I got a Marg and Ryan got this like yuzu vodka drink. There you go. Cheers. So we just got a bunch of appetizers to share. Tuna rolls, ceviche, steak tartare. Everything looks so good. Last course, we got some grilled octopus and some scallops. We approve of this car because it has a ledge for me to put my camera on. And it actually sits, well, it just sat up. What did I do? No, Okay, I got it. Dinner was really good. And I have one earring in because the other one was like being irritated but I wanted this for pictures. Oh, there we go. Anyways, I think I'm gonna braid my hair because Ryan will not put this top up. Because he says it's the fun of it. But honestly, Ryan, you're just lucky you don't have hair all up in your face. The other night I slicked back my hair <laughs> and my bangs came back right back in my face. And I know these are like loose so they're gonna be flying, but he just doesn't understand. My dad used to have a convertible when I was little and I actually got this hand-me-down car um, when I was like, when I was able to drive. And I hated when he put the top down and I never used the convertible when I got it for myself. And now I look back and I'm like, oh, dang, that was a cool car. I should have used it more, but also, like, it's just not realistic with all this bangs in my face. Okay, what are we doing now? Are we drive bang. around. You want to drive around? Yeah. Why not? Where do you want to go? We should look at houses. Where are you, old neighborhood thing. or what? Yeah, we could do that. Or you want to go through? There's, like, so much that's being been built since we came here mm -hmm. last, like, two years ago.
so pink. Hmm? It's like so pink. Is it fake? More pink. Oh. <laughs> It's hard to see on the camera. I can tell I think it is. You can't get the shot that you No, see it's not even close. <laughs> wow. And I got look at this, this is like We're yellow on here. Cannot. Same. Wow. Can you need my glasses for No. Wild. You're crazy, Ryan. You, you know I'm so crazy. <laughs> Good morning, it is day three at the beach and it's such a nice day outside. We're about to go down and enjoy the day, but this is my outfit. I'm wearing like a little Amazon cover-up thing. Let me show you guys. Look how freaking cute this is. And it comes in a bunch of different colors. And I'm also wearing my favorite Monday swimwear. Um, one piece. What's going on back there? I just made breakfast and I'm going to go pack up my beach bag, but I wanted to say hi for the morning. Last night we came home and watched Jury Duty and every night we've been like just sitting on the couch and the moment I sit down, I fall asleep. Like I'm knocked out. And I've been waking up like not very early here which sucks because I had been on a roll of like waking up at 7 a.m. My body clock would wake me up at that time and I kind of liked it and now I just kind of feel a little bit groggy because I'm sleeping in. So I need to get back into waking up early. Ooh, Ryan just found the snorkels. <laughs> Yay, they're like so this extra. Big face mask for the snorkel. But they're so cool. One thing about me, I do not read even if I really try to, like I just can't because I like just fall asleep. But this book, I bought it probably two years ago for our beach vacation. I don't even know if it was actually for our beach vacation, but I bought it two years ago. And I have not really gotten past like maybe the first three pages. So I'm gonna try again because I haven't really tried reading in a long time. And this is like the most generic recommendation I feel like, but apparently it's good. So putting that in my beach bag. Um, where did I put this? What the heck? Did I even bring it down? I totally forgot I had this Elta MD um, sunscreen for your face, so I've been using it, and it's really, really nice. And I'm only using this because I ran out of my super goop. I have the tiniest bit left on my unseen sunscreen, which is like one of my favorites. And then I also just saw that Lib Tinted has like a clear stick that you can just roll on your face, which I'm very tempted to get that. I'm ready to swim and snorkel. It's finally a nice day. Yes. Checking the damage. It's not horrible, I guess. I decided to not wash my hair today and just kind of like throw it up in a bun. We'll see how this goes. I haven't really done this bun in a while, but I thought I would show you guys how I do it. Mm, did I pack a curler? I hope I did, because I think I need a curler for this look. But we'll just go ahead and get started. Today was such a nice day on the beach. I took a nap. But I'm like surprised that I only went in the water like once. Usually I go like back and forth, you know, go in the water, dry off, go in the water, dry off. Um, okay, we start off with a middle part. I think we're gonna go to Shunkoli tonight. They have like the best oysters and it's really like, well, more affordable than a lot of the restaurants we usually go to here in Rosemary Beach and like Alice Beach. Those places are very, very pricey, but when we come here, we just kind of like have that in mind that they're pretty pricey already. So we're gonna take those two out, right? I think, that's how I did it. And then, ooh, this is, might not be good though, actually. Because in the Jeep, my hair is flying everywhere in my freaking face. Maybe, what do I do? Should I just do like a slick back bun tonight? Hmm. I really wanted to do that little cutesy bun. It's kind of just like the Pam Anderson bun. Okay, we're just gonna go for it and like hopefully 
my bangs will stay intact. I don't know how far this drive is though. And like in the Jeep, it's just not very comfortable to have like hair flying all up in your face. So if it gets taken down, then you guys know why. But basically you just put your hair up in a ponytail and make it pretty high up. And then you're just going to, well actually pull it through twice. And then on the third time, we're just going to leave some hair out, like that, and do you wrap it around? Yeah, if you can. Oh, so much hair. Okay. This looks like a mess. Okay, I just need like hair pins, or, like bobby pins, and we could just like put it right here. But did I bring that is the question. I knew I brought them. <laughs> this is like my uh, five-year-old plastic bag with bobby pins. The only bobby pins I own, which are like 10. And I just reuse them. <laughs> and then, well, obviously I should be reusing them. But you know how like sometimes you just lose them really easily because they're just bobby pins? Okay. So I put them in a bun and now I'll just like pin it down a little bit. And it's just like a fun easy hairstyle to just like switch things up. I feel like I wear my hair down all the time. And I don't know, it's just fun to switch it up. Like you save all these Pinterest hairstyles and like hairstyles on Instagram and TikTok and I just feel like I never actually do them, but now I have an excuse because my hair is like disgusting. <laughs> just like very beachy, which is fine for some people, but I hate this feeling of like not clean hair. But honestly, I just don't want to wash it again, and that's okay. Okay, this is this is cute. There's like some little piecey pieces. I would just curl them, but it's fine. I don't really care too much tonight. I leave these two bracelets on when I go in the ocean. They're from Goriana, and then I take these off. This is also from Goriana. It's just like a little cuff. And oh, there we go. Then of course my Bulova watch. I got it on Amazon. I can link it down below. It's so pretty. It's giving Cartier, but for way less, and I've actually seen it go on sale on Amazon, so that's what it looks like, my little bracelet stack of the evening. Here's the outfit of the night. I got my portable charger in my hands because my phone is on 5%, but top is from Princess Polly. I'm wearing like a little tank top under it from Meshki, I believe, or no, Glaçons. I don't know how you pronounce it, but the pants are Amazon. Shoes are Steve Madden. Sunnies are Amazon. What about you? We got Seaside Yacht Club, <laughs> Aloe, my stained Mango Lessie shorts. Oh my god, Ryan. And my rainbows. <laughs> that is so funny. I, never ordered, I ordered a new pair and I returned them to Amazon. They didn't fit? I already returned them, too big. Oh, damn it. Well, are you going to order some new ones or are you just going to? A mango lessy stained Probably pants. Mango lessy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Driving through Seaside and right there, Barefoot Barbecue is where me and Ryan, well, I don't even know what, <laughs> but basically, um, yeah, it was like the first time we hung out outside of school, was in Seaside. I was trying to flirt and he just was not picking it up. <laughs> I was like, I'm cold, because I think you have like a sweatshirt or something. And he was just not understanding the vibe that I wanted his sweatshirt. But we also took our always iconic, yeah, always want something. Um, but we took our iconic photo, I'll put it right here. And we try to like remake it every year. We are headed to Shungali. And I'm very excited to get some oysters and just, I, I was thinking it had to be if it was like 30 minutes away, it was 30 minutes away. Here, and I put my little bangs in the clip so let's see if they survived. <laughs> Ow. They're still so tangled. Ew. Ew. 
the heck? That's not how they looked earlier. Whatever. <laughs> It's a broken heart of thinking problem. So we ordered drinks from the bar and asked for a virgin pina colada and he was like, it's just gonna be ice cream and pina colada mix. So it was like amazing. That's exactly what we wanted. It's a little icy, but it's good. I also don't need to drink like so much water. I'm so dehydrated. Some honey beer. Mm. It's a 45 minute wait for Shunk Gully, so we're gonna wait it. Alvin's Island is so nostalgic. It's where I got my first pet crab. Yeah. Day three and I haven't bought merch yet, so do I need to? Always getting the best spots. We got a dozen oysters and some garlic butter crab claws. Oh my god. Crab claws. Good morning, we are about to go to breakfast and this is the outfit of the morning because I'm definitely going to change it in my swimsuit. It's super nice outside and Ryan actually just told me that I probably don't need a jacket because it's really hot so probably will take this off in a second. We're using the bikes today. These are electric but we didn't charge it so I'm curious to see how much charge they have. Let's see. Oh, nice. It's so tall though. <laughs> Might have to lower it a little bit. There we go. This one might be done. That's, that one's done? Shit. So we're in Alice Beach and we are going to Fonville Press for breakfast. It's a different road. We have this cute little market on this side and I'm a sucker for like, you guys know like sauce jams, just anything like cutely packaged and I have yet to get a souvenir back. I know, oh my god, wait, <laughs> Ryan, why did we not, <laughs> why did we not give a cinnamon roll, wow. Look at this avocado toast, aka a salad, <laughs> and then we got beignets. Okay. Guys, I forgot to get oat milk in this, so uh, please pray for me. We're just doing a little neighborhood bike tour of Alice Beach. This is Kaliza, I think it's like a restaurant, pool club, I'm not really sure. Oh, <laughs> these houses are so pretty. I love it here so much. And I've decided that I love blue shutters, not that kind of blue, but like a light boo hag blue. Boo hag. Saturday, so we're actually gonna drink on the beach. We brought some high noons. Wow. Oh my god, Ryan. It is actually perfect. That means 
We had the best beach day. It was so nice out and it is currently, what time is it, Rai? I can't even look at my phone. What time? 7.23. 7.23, look at my outfit. I'm obsessed with this jumpsuit. It's from Free People. I think it's still in stock and there's a couple different colors, but look at Ryan's linen shirt. If you guys watch the other vlogs, he got it at Nordstrom Rack. Think I'm just out me like that? What? Okay. No, it's a good find. It is. It's good. 30 bucks. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Your face is so red. But we are out there for there. how long at the beach? Today? Like 10 30 or something? Yeah, I think it was like six hours, guys. <laughs> um, but we're gonna go upstairs and swing on the bench upstairs, so let's do it. There you go. It's humid out here. The camera's fogging up. Ask the vlog, do we know how a horse eats corn? <laughs> Stop. Like this? No. We are off to dinner. We're going to Old Florida Fish House and they have sushi and like a lot to choose from. We are gonna go to this new place called Aja. There's a restaurant called Umi in Atlanta and I think the co-owner came down and like opened a sushi restaurant here and that's what the name of it is, it's Aja. But I looked at the menu and there's like not that much and we really liked Old Florida Fish House the last time we went. So I was like, we should just go back because we know we like it and there's like so much to choose from. There's not just sushi, there's like so much. So we're gonna go over there. Who has that texting sound on? Hmm? Only crazy people. Uh, but now I get people to talk to. Huh? I gotta let people know that I have people to talk to. <laughs> Sunday. It is technically like our last like beach day because tomorrow our flight is at like 6 p.m. And so I don't know if we'll be able to swim and like enjoy the beach because Ryan has to work and I should probably work too. Um, but this morning we are probably going to go to the donut hole. Um, it is a 30A staple and I don't know if we're going to eat there. I'm, I'm down to just get donuts and come back to the beach. What do you think? Yeah, because I think everything going to out of church. Like oh shoot, okay, <laughs> let's go fast then. Um, yesterday we got up super early and went to breakfast, which I was like, this is nice because there was barely anyone out there. But today I woke up at 7 a.m. Then I was like, I just wanna sleep in a little bit more. It just feels so good. Here's the outfit of the morning. I wore this pink set recently in a vlog and you guys loved it. It's actually from Outdoor Voices, but the last time I checked the pink color wasn't there. I think like the set was still there, so you guys want to check out if they have any new colors, I'll link it down below. And then we have my white, like, Lululemon dupe, but it's from Amazon. And then I think these are new balances. Ryan just said that this shirt was green. This is green. It's literally brown. We have this freaking conversation anytime he wears the shirt. It's he said, green, no, green. it's literally brown. Comment down below. Yeah, it's light. brown. It's brown. It's fully brown. We mm. are nuts. He's also colorblind, so. <laughs> Guys, we totally forgot there's a farmer's market that happens in Rosemary Beach on Sundays. Might have to pass it on the way home.
changed into my swimsuit of the day. This is so cute. It's like a skirt set, but it's swimsuit material and it's from Albion Fit. I got it last summer, but I will try to link it for you guys. I think I might have already said this, but the last time we came here was when my dad had just kind of like bought the place. Things were still coming in, like the fridge is new and all that kind of stuff. But ever since then, he made the attic into a third room. So now this place has three bedrooms and three bathrooms. Well, two full bathrooms and then one downstairs. But anyways, I thought I would show you guys attic because I think it's so cool. Let's go. Okay, so that is my dad's room. My stuff is kind of everywhere. I've been using the bathroom and the closet space. But here is the view outside the owner's suite and they have like a little swing out here. Here's the room we've been sleeping in. Right between these two bedrooms is the spiral staircase, which is actually kind of terrifying, but I'll show you guys. It is so tiny. <laughs> Oh gosh. We have this little door. Oh. And I gotta bend down and find the light. Where is it? Okay. Ah, babe! <laughs> Ryan! <laughs> Don't ever fucking do that again. <laughs> I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> oh. Anyways, guys. This is the newest room, so that's the door we came in. Woo! <laughs> Gave me a heart attack. It's a little mini attic. It's so cute. They did such a good job. And so much light in here. And like a full on like two dressers and outlets and an AC. Like, this is amazing. Oh my gosh, I <laughs> just bumped my head on this thing. I'm backed up. Ready for the beach, each? It's in here. I don't know. Oh yeah, I think it is. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Oh, that's cool. That's smart. A rolling rack. <laughs> nice locked. Girl in some steaks tonight. It's a really rainy day. <laughs> we barely got a beach day in, but look at the sky now. Oh, delish. What did you say? She, she died at the grill. She, she didn't want him grilled. <laughs> oh, juicy. We just checked into our flight tomorrow. I'm sad. <laughs> Yummy. Which plate do you want? Mm, the smaller one. I'll take the light blue. What do you think? Good morning. It is our official last day here, and I'm very sad to be leaving. Um, but I did a little bit of cleaning up today. Our flight's at six. We have to go put the car and the bikes in storage at three, and then we'll just go to the airport from there. Um, so I just wanted to get a head start on cleaning. Um, Ryan did a little bit of work and now we want to get some caffeine and we'll probably go to the same place what do you think should we go yeah, to somewhere good. different yeah i liked that try um at holiday yesterday we went and i washed my hair yesterday but i'm like i feel like i'm gonna regret it if i don't go swimming today so we might go in the water for like a little bit but i don't know if we have like too much time to you know just chill at the beach today unfortunately but I want to get some caffeine and then I really, really want to go to this store called like 30A Olive Oil Company maybe. I think that's what it's called. And that is going to be my souvenir. Guys, I made it without buying any merch from Seaside, Rosemary Beach, um, Alice Beach. Oh wait, shoot. We didn't even go to the Alice Beach store, babe. Should we go while we're there? It's Dang. I thought I was going to make it through, but I don't know. They always have such cute stuff there. I don't need another trucker hat. I don't need another trucker hat. I don't need one, but I definitely won't want one because I know they're going to have such cute merch there. Um, but yeah, we'll probably go there because it's right by the Holiday uh, Cafe. We came to the home store next to the Holiday Cafe and it's so cute. All of the glass were up there. I died. Is the coffee up here? Yeah. Ryan 
I found this quarter zip and it's 50% off. It's so cute. I feel like it'd be perfect for like 4th of July. What did you say? It's not 120 degrees. True. We won't be in Georgia, so it's not going to be that hot. True. <laughs> uh oh. Beige with green. It's very tempting. <laughs> We're in a different store now, Rosemary Beach store. Do I need this? This one's different though, because like this one has a zipper. So like, and it's like this uh, towel material. I just feel as though it's different and I may need it. <laughs> last beach day and I don't know if I told you guys but our flight actually got delayed um, which makes me a little nervous because we have a connecting flight so originally the time that we were supposed to arrive in Houston was like 9 42 and then our flight out of there to Austin was like at 10 and I was like holy that's like a little too close but now it's saying we'll get there at 9 30 something so like a little more time which is very nice so I'm just trusting that everything works out and we actually got um, our Lyft driver's information he was like if you just want to schedule a ride with me so I can bring you to the airport then I don't have to like go through the fees of Uber or Lyft or whatever and I was like I mean sounds good to me so we actually have to take the um, car to storage and the bikes to storage and then he's gonna pick us up from there so I was able to push back everything like an hour, an hour and a half later, which is kind of nice because then we get a little bit more time at the beach. And when I was in Georgia, I think the last time, like probably around December break, well, not break, uh, hello, I'm an adult, I don't have a break, but you guys know what I mean for holidays and stuff. I saw that they had vanilla Coke in the newest packaging, which is like this tan color. And I bought like a 12 pack or something. I went through it so fast when I was home that time and then I don't know if you guys remember but Ryan was home in Georgia for a while and he actually moved back in February I was like please bring me back vanilla coke and he forgot but it's okay because I found it here at the Publix and this one is um the coke zero vanilla coke which it's not as good but it definitely like still satisfies the craving I just love a good vanilla coke so I'm bringing this to the beach with me it's just a really pretty day out and i also am very happy because we both got our souvenirs ryan got a rosemary bean shirt and then i got my balsamic i went with something a little different i got like a lavender balsamic and it was like 20 dollars. honestly i thought it was gonna be way more just because it's very like curated cutesy shop so i'm excited to like try that on my summer fresh little like tomato and mozzarella meals i don't even know but I really want to get into cooking when I'm home. I'm saying that now, knowing I'm literally going to leave a week later for another trip. But I love cooking summer meals. I was telling Ryan yesterday we have to make cowboy caviar soon because that just sounds so good. Last day, best day. Bye bye beach. Time to go back to Austin. Well, we're back at the beach house because we literally pulled up to the airport and had our driver like take us, our driver, we sound so fancy, but it's literally our Lyft driver that just gave us his card on the way here. But um, yeah, I, I, I don't know why I randomly looked at my Southwest app and I saw that it said like Tuesday and I panicked and I was like, what the heck did I like book it for Tuesday and not know? Like I, it's Monday, so. I was like so scared I was like what the heck how did this happen like and then I realized that our flight kept getting like delayed so I was like it has to be like a rebooking so I sent like Ryan in to check at the uh, airport desk they gave us like $200 each so like $400 in total for rebooking us in my mind I feel like we could have negotiated for more <laughs> but like the driver was waiting because I was like can you just take us back to the beach house and I'm so lucky because there was not another person coming after this I don't even know if my dad's renting it out anymore because he's starting to live here in July so I'm not really sure um but we're back at the beach house for one night and 
they rebooked us on a 6 a.m. flight, which is kind of annoying, but not a bad place to be stuck. 